friends, this is Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I am here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. And I'm outside today because it is just too pretty, too nice a day to be inside to do this, just to enjoy this sun and what seems like spring weather uh, that is approaching on us. It's just too good a day to do that. And I'm coming today from uh, the parking lot, the Washington Street parking lot at our church, uh, because I want to tell you a story about what happened here today. Uh, what happened in this parking lot this morning is that, that God showed up here today and hope was in this parking lot today. I want to begin with lifting up this passage of scripture. This is a passage from Romans chapter 5, beginning with the first verse. Therefore, since we have been made righteous through his faithfulness, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have access by faith into this grace in which we stand through him and we boast in the hope of God's glory. But not only that, we even take pride in our problems because we know that trouble produces endurance. Endurance produces character and character produces hope. This hope doesn't put us to shame because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Friends, we have been through a lot in this past year. Oh my goodness, it has been a year. A year since things shut down. A year since we had normal a year since we were able to gather in our church building and worship and sing and praise God in the way that we were used to. But I tell you that this year anniversary is also a, a time of hope. Through all of the troubles that we've been through, it's given us perseverance. And that perseverance has given us endurance, and that endurance has given us hope. Hope in God. Hope that God is with us through it all. It is indeed a time of hope. Hope that we can see more and more and more people who are getting the vaccine. Hope that we can see fewer and fewer and fewer beds used in the ICU to treat COVID patients. So today in our parking lot, we did something uh, that we have been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, when school started back uh, in September, we wanted to do something to honor um, the teachers. And we were able to cheer our teachers on at the um, primary school and at Bedford Elementary. We offered uh, cheers standing there as they began their first day back at the building. We gave them candy to encourage them. We went to the middle school and high school and gave them candy hugs and said, we can't hug you in person, but we, we love you and we are praying for you. We weren't able to get that worked out for all of the teachers that who were working virtually this year, who were just focusing on virtual learning. It took us a while to get it together, but we did it today. We had people here in our parking lot today who had prepared uh, uh, COVID safe. We were all safe in the preparation, but we prepared some chocolate, hot chocolate and we prepared some coffee and we had candy bags of hugs. And those teachers in Bedford County who are teaching virtually were able to drive through our parking lot and pick up a to-go coffee or to-go hot chocolate and a bag of candy. And we were able to say, look, we love you. We're praying for you. And we have hope that what you are offering to our children this year in a new and different way that hadn't been done before. 
And so as we were doing that, what really struck me and struck most of us who were working here, there was a teacher who, who drove up and as she pulled in, as we tried to do for all of them, we cheered, we yay, and, and we clapped for them and we were so excited to give them that encouragement. And this teacher was in tears, in tears at uh, the situation, in tears that we were still cheering for them and still appreciative of what I know has been just a really, really tough year. We were cheering them on and she shared her story of coming to faith coming to faith in another Methodist church and how that Methodist church helped raise her in the faith. And we were able to share that. We were able to hear the story of another teacher who said that there's a group that are all teaching online, that they gather online and have a prayer time together, a prayer group so that they're supporting one another in that. And we were able to hear about uh, their journey together and supporting one another, connecting with one another and with God, even through technology. And so my friends, today, God was here in this parking lot. God was here in the, the forms of handing out coffee and hot chocolate and candy, saying, you're loved you're cared about and what you are doing teachers is making a difference in the lives of your students i'm so grateful to be part of a congregation who wanted to do this who offered this to the community and who cares about the people in our community it is such a blessing I want to lift up a few uh, announcements now to remind all of our children that we are gathering uh, on Sundays at 4 p.m. on Zoom and we are connecting with one another during this Lenten time, walking together and helping the children learn what uh, Lent is all about and how they can use this special uh, season of the church year to grow closer to God, to connect with God, and to stay connected with God. I also want to remind that our church council is meeting Monday at 7 p.m. And our um, staff parish committee is meeting Tuesday at 6.30, at 6 p.m. Uh, both of those uh, meetings will be hybrid. Those that are able and would like to come in person will meet in the Carpenters of Faith classroom. Those that need to or would like to meet online, we will be sending out the Zoom link for those two meetings. Palm Sunday is coming up and we really are excited about Palm Sunday. We will have palms here at the church office for anyone that would like to come the week before Palm Sunday and pick up a palm to take with you so you have it on Palm Sunday to wave at home. Uh, we will also be sending out with our Wednesday word and with our um, Friday notes. We will be sending out images of palms that you could cut out and use that if you would rather to do that. We also will have plenty of palms here for anyone that is ready and able to worship in person on Palm Sunday. It promises to be a, a wonderful service, a great celebration of that journey into Jerusalem. On Monday, Thursday, we will worship on Zoom. It will be a special Monday, uh, Thursday Zoom service. The service will be at 7 p.m. The Zoom link will go out the day before, so anyone that's got an email address with the church will be sending that out to you. If you don't have an email but would like to attend that service, just call the church office and let us know. We'll make sure you have that Zoom link for that service. Our Good Friday service, we will be reflecting on the seven last words of Christ. Um, and we'll be doing that through music. Johnson will be offering some musical selections that refer to and reference the seven last words of Jesus Christ. It will be a wonderful service. It will be pre-recorded and will be posted on Good Friday for you to be able to watch and use that as part of your Holy Week journey. 
on Easter. It will be only a live stream service. Uh, so that means it will not be pre-recorded. And we are asking everyone to either join us in person at 1030 or to worship with us online at 1030. That link will be either on the church website or you can go to our YouTube channel for that. We still do have um, space in the sanctuary to accommodate more people that have been joining us. We just ask that you do register your attendance on our website so we can know how many people to expect and we can make sure that we truly are prepared for anybody that might be coming on Easter Sunday, that we have plenty of space for everybody. So if you have not been attending and would like to attend on Easter, please go to our website and register. If you're not sure sure how to do that call the church office and let us know and we can get you registered but we just do need to know who to expect for that special Easter service um, masks still are required and we will still be socially distancing for that service we are uh, though also excited that we are going to be able to do communion at that service uh, it will be communion inside the sanctuary so we are excited about being able to do that it's still going to be a little bit different it will be with the prepackaged um, elements so that we can still make sure that everyone is staying safe in COVID but it will be communion with this body of believers if you are able to worship with us online and that's what you are going to be comfortable with doing, uh, just encourage you to have some bread and some juice, something on hand at home so that you'll be able to worship with us that way. Uh, it promises to be an exciting uh, Easter and I, I look forward to worshiping with you either in person or online that Sunday. If you can't be with us at 1030 on Easter, it will be recorded and posted on YouTube. But we are really encouraging all of the Main Street Faith community to watch it live together, to either be in person here or to be online so we can be united as a body of believers. Friends, I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday, either in person at 1030 or online. If you have not already, I would love for you to make sure that you like our Facebook page. We have a brand new Instagram page and I encourage you to follow us on Instagram if you are doing that. And I also encourage you to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to us there so that we can connect with you through those uh, different social media outlets. Friends, have a great rest of the day and know that you are walking with God every step of the way. God bless.